Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even, I'm, I'm, I'm outside myself right now. I'm beyond happy. I have one of my greatest friends on earth here today. My boy. Now, we've had a lot of guests here, a lot of artists, a lot of this, a lot of that. What I haven't done is brought really any of my bestest, bestest, bestest pals. So this is amazing because we have in the building today, Chef Rami Arvin. Now, as you can see here, there's a little bit of food going on here. Chef Rami has prepared us a fine, fine cut of meat. Elk, baby, one of the best. It's a little elk, and we're gonna get into all of that. But the reason for the season with cocktails, with Happy Hour with Marcus, is of course, fucking cocktails. cocktails. So, we've got it all laid out here. Tonight we are making what is known as a New York Sour. It is a uh, recipe submitted to us by Clint, who is here. Thank you, Clint, Clint for the suggestion. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, but I'm gonna break it down. It all starts with the Maker's Mark. Last week, we had the Maker's Mark on the show with Hashi, my boy, Hashi. Aside from that, you need a little bit of simple syrup. You're gonna need egg whites. I'm a little bit scared about the egg whites. Yeah, no, I'll be it's honest. gonna be delicious. Don't this is scaring me. We're putting egg whites in our drink for the first time, red wine, and then some cherries for garnish. So, without further ado, Rami, let's do it. All right, so first thing we're gonna need so we're gonna need some ice. Where's the ice? Shit. I'm so stressed out, it's unreal. We're gonna take a little bit of ice here, right into the shaker. Perfect, that's perfect, no, that's perfect. That's, that's all perfect. we need, yeah. That's all we need. Next, next, we're gonna do our, our maker's mark right here. Little maker's mark, now we're eyeballing. Oh. Eh, we got professional bar tools here, baby. We're professional bar tooling it out. We are not eyeballing it. We all are right, one and a quarter sure. ounce right here, baby. Yep. Okay, here we go. Wait, is it for two people? Or we're making oh, it for two? I guess you're right, man. Yep, double up. Double, double up. up. My boy Nipsey Shout said. Shout out to uh, Maker's Mark. I'm not a huge fan of the product. Definitely a fan of the product. I like the wax situation that <laughs> goes on here, but they're definitely, um, you know. Yeah. Anyway, that being hey, said, I'm open to a sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> Hit us up. All right, Hit number up. two, we need our lemon. All right, so fresh lemon. squeezed lemon juice, this essential. Is, we, we did this earlier today with the fresh squeezed lemon juice. We freshly squeezed that. Only way to do it. My friend Tom. By the way, this is a different setting. I should address that. Check out this setting. Pretty badass, right? Shout out to my friend Tom. He's hosting yeah, us here. Shout out to Tom. Got the meat smoker. Shout out to Traeger. That's why we're here. Traeger Grills, baby. If you want to sponsor any chef, I'm available. Traeger Grills. Love it. Okay. All right, what's next after the lemon? All right, after our lemon, pretty simple. We got the simple syrup here. Pretty simple. Just a balance. Just a balance, baby. It's only calling for a quarter of an ounce, so we're gonna put a half in here, all right? Half ounce. Now, if we were talking yeah. about weed, we'd talk about a lot. When you're lot. talking about simple syrup, no, no, we're not no. talking about much. A half no. ounce of simple syrup is not a lot. All right, after this, we gotta, we gotta get this egg white in here right now, okay? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. The key to egg white is it cup. must go into the cup, cup because you vigorously it shake right, to right. get frothiness. I'm That's scared. That's what it's for. I'm wrong, you're right. At the end of the day, I don't, I, we're putting egg whites into a fucking cocktail and I am, I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> I got snake in my boots. All right, you do it. It's definitely the right thing to do. Let me tell you. All right, okay. Cool. Let me. Tell I got some you. bartender friends at work. They a little he's, frothiness he's good at egg whites. Wow. Shout out to my boy Danny. He's a beast. Okay. That is egg whites went into the mixture. Okay, that's it. Now, shake it up. Now, vigorously shake. Most important thing here. Okay. That is good form. Hey! I think there's a workout tool that you use this bad boy. It's called the the shake weight, shake weight, or the pump it, or whatever. Okay. Pump it, yeah. All right. Pump it. I think it's called the pump it. I was gonna say that's a, a, a challenge. It's always here, a challenge. It's always a challenge, mate. Always. Okay. Yeah. You see the froth? Now, look at that. Shit. Check, check the froth. Excuse check me, the French froth. French. That is okay. fucking it right there. Let's go. Okay, so we don't. Mm. We don't need a strainer, really. <laughs> I'm about to do this, baby. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, do that, do that. You're right, that's the right. It's really not supposed to have any ice. It's so do you here. see the frothiness? Yep. Do you see that, Marcus? I see, do you Man, see the froth? my boy Danny would be proud right Do you see now. the froth? Perfect. That's it right Sick. there. Finesse, baby. Catch the ice. I want to talk about that meat. Definitely talk about my boy. We're gonna talk about this meat. We're gonna do a nice splash right of here. red wine. There we go. A splash of red wine there. Check that out. There we go, With baby. the cherry garnish. Oh, that's right. It's all good. You guys look at that. This looks good. That looks beautiful. No, this looks good. Good. no stir, just do it. Cheers. 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 To one of my best Cheers friends. Cheers everybody. Oh, my you, Thank friends you for having me. Already. Of course. 
No, that slaps. I'm that's into actually it. quite good. I'm into it. I don't even taste the eggs. No, the eggs are what you taste on your you mouth. You can't even tell that this is that not foam? vegan. Come on he's in. He's gonna come in. He's gonna take a mm. shot with us. This is yeah, what we do. Happy hour with yeah. Marcus. Thank you very much. Now that we are done with the cocktail, right? Let me ask you something, Rami. What's in front of us here? What we got right here? We got a beautiful wine reduction going on with our elk caught shot by our best friend here, Ryland. Love the kid to death. Hunter extraordinaire, Ryland Hancock shot this elk. So it was a whole thing. The elk is the reason why we're gathered here today. Came over, had to cook a fat roast, super easy. Had some white wine, some shallots, garlic, a little bit of rosemary like you see on top. Reduced that bad boy down, threw it in the slow cooker. Four and a half hours in there, now you have what you see here. Simple and plain, easy to do, you can do it at home. If you got a slow cooker, throw that bad boy in there, salt and pepper with seasoning, a little bit of onions, a little bit of love, and you have yourself a beautiful roast, any kind of roast. You can go elk, you can get beef, whatever you'd like. So this is it, we already had some. It's one of the best things I've ever had in my entire life. Now we're gonna get to the meat of the interview and that is not a pun. No. Tell me what is the most important dish or occasion that you've ever cooked for? The meal that you cooked that was the most meaningful? Most meaningful. It definitely would have to say it would be, it would be for my family. 100%. I mean there's no one moment, no one time but as a chef I definitely think one of the greatest things that we do as chefs is we bring people together. So cooking meals for your family, cooking meals for your friends, like what we're doing right here, right now, being here, this is what it's about. This is what it's all about. It's all about just coming together. So every meal that I said cooks probably one of the most important meals I've ever had, so. That was a beautiful answer. I would say my favorite meal you ever cook is the one that you cook for me, yes. personally. Specifically the, this one. Really <laughs> we already had a bunch of it. We're gonna switch topics real switch. quick. Now, Rami, you and I both like to indulge in a video game Not now really. and again, yes, am I right? Rami, what is the best video game series, in your opinion? Oh, man. Like, your own preference video game. Oh, this is so easy. Final Fantasy series, no doubt. PlayStation. Talk about Final Fantasy yes. overall, no, yes. over everything else. Hands down, that or Metal Gear Solid, no questions asked. Not even any Kingdom Hearts. And the people that made Kingdom Hearts are Final Fantasy. Okay, we're going well, to the root go. cause here. Yeah, I was going to say, we get, we're right but, back um, in the circle. What do you love about Final Fantasy? I just love, like, story, creation, like, it's the greatest game ever created, in my opinion, because of the story, character development, like, when you play a video game, it's not like Call of Duty, we're just running around brainlessly shooting people and fucking wasting our life away. Because that is what you they know? do. Yeah, I know, I do it too sometimes, let's be honest, but yeah. Final Tomorrow, answer, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Who do you look up to in your own life? Oh, easy. For, for any any given thing, I'm talking about who do you look up to? My who father. are your role models? That's the easiest one. Pa, my dad, 1,000%. My, my, dad, my dad is everything to me. Like, as a kid, I never really realized how much my dad had an influence in my life because he wasn't around. But he was around when he was providing for us. Okay, so sure you don't see him, he's not there. But he put food on the table every day and he gave us the opportunities to, you know, pursue our dreams, which my dream was being a chef. My sister is a doctor. We have so many great people in our family and that's because our, my dad allowed us to be free and just do what we want and explore our dreams. And even now to this day, he's definitely somebody that I go to for advice. And Shout out to him too because he used to, to save the best alcohol for like years and then he would whip it out for us back in the day. Yeah, we were 16 years old. He would pull out old. like a 20 year old <laughs> bottle of Patron. What a, what a man. <laughs> and now we're here yeah, making happy chocolate hour Patron. shows. Chocolate Cheers. Patron. That chocolate Patron. So shout out to Rami's dad. That is amazing. Favorite band of all time? Because oh. you're more of a band guy than a singer guy, than a, than a rapper guy. You are a band guy. Always been that way. Always. Those are my roots, 100%. Who, who is your favorite, who are your favorite bands? You don't have to limit to one, but like, who do you like, listen to? So number one, for sure Pink Floyd. Like, number one. Like, they are the arguably the greatest band ever, in my opinion. After that, I love Tool, I love Led Zeppelin. I'm a big System of Down fan, shout out to Armenia, shout out to Artsakh Strong, all right? Fucking, we will not die, I'll tell you that right now, okay? So System, love them, and honestly, you, Marcus, like, and I say this, like, fucking, wow, I remember, was, that was great. look, 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 I mean, I remember being in our, in that little truck, one seater, two seater, whatever it was, it barely fit both of us in the front seat, just playing instrumentals out in front of Barrows and Mesa, trying to put raps together, and now look at where we are, so, definitely you. Wow, that's yeah. fucking dope. Thank you for saying that because yeah, hey, that's true. I Marcus. did start writing Marcus, raps in a borrow out to borrow. God pizza. damn, borrow parking seater. lot, baby. We were spitting raps in the borrow's parking lot. Gave me the confidence I needed to to start going. And cheers. Here we are. Cheers. Thanks. To cheers. You. Yeah, that, that, that was a beautiful thing. I know. I appreciate you saying that. Now let me ask you this: If I'm someone out there, right, and I want to become a chef, I don't really know where to start. 
What's some, some advice that you would give to someone like trying to, to get into this food game? Someone who wants to be a head chef somewhere someday, especially at a restaurant like you work at, Joey, downtown LA. Yeah, shout out to Joey, love them. Like the best advice I'll give to any chef is, people think I need school, I need an education, I gotta get a culinary diploma. Like, I'm not a culinary student, I was self-taught. All you need is passion and love. That is it. If you passion have love. passion for what you do, and you're willing to put in the time and the work, you will become a great chef. It's not, you don't need this fancy education to be able to make food. And people always say like, food is love. Like, if you have passion, it's from your heart, food will be beautiful, it'll be great. It, that's all it is. It's a solely emotion driven art. And obviously there's technique to understand like the more higher level things when once you get up and into the, into the world of culinary, you, you do need technical skill, but yeah. to just cook a wonderful meal for families and friends, uh, you, all you need is a little bit of passion and some love, and like you will throw it together. Love. Right here, I'm trying to get in that frame. Love. <laughs> that. That is amazing. That's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the questions that I had prepared. <coughs> Me and Rami are gonna go hang out. We're probably drinking yeah, all night. We're definitely gonna keep so drinking more of these, I'll tell you. Yeah, we're gonna cut it up. Rami, do it. Do it. Yeah, you want to cut it We're up? gonna start cutting this meat up. All right, let's see this beauty right here. Man, beautiful rosemary, nice and cut up, ready to go. Just crazy, just great. This wine reduction, first time playing around with this rosemary wine reduction right here. Proud of it. Shout out to Chef Zach. Shout out to the Joey family for Shout out to set throwing this Zach. together right here. All right, Marcus, crush one of these bad boys with me right now. From all of us here at Happy Hour with Marcus. Cheers. This is some steak. This has been my man, Chef Rami Arvin. Thank you for having me. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Cheers. No, mm, 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 mm. That rosemary it really comes from. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you. That wine reduction is just—it's fantastic. Cash money records, baby. Cash money records. <laughs>